Okay, number 47, let A and B be independent events. Denote the probability of A as the probability that event A will occur. And denote probability A intersection of B as the probability that events A and B will both occur, which of the following equations must be true. Probability, let me write you some notes, is gonna be unit 10. So the next unit we hit is probability. And this question is taught in lessons 81, 82, and 85, if you wanted to look up those early. So it's very important that these be independent events. This formula that, that we're gonna use only works if they're independent events. And uh, an example of this would be if you wanted to flip, say, two heads on a coin, the probability that the first time you flip a coin you get heads is one half, there's only two sides. The probability that when you flip again you get heads is also half, there's only two sides. And what you do to find the probability that both of those happened, and they're independent because the flip of the first does not influence the flip of the second, is you multiply them. You take the product of each probability happening. So the formula down here that shows product is D. Let me touch on a few of these other ones. So option A says that the probability of A is equal to the probability of B. Um, that would be if each, that just shows you that the probabilities are equal, that has nothing to do with both occurring at the same time. Probably, <laughs> uh, option B is the probability of A is equal to 1 minus the probability of B. That is if these probabilities are complements. Complements. So um, say the probability of it raining is 60%, so the probability of it not raining is 40%. Um, C is just not an equation that you will use. Um, they're trying to get you to add when really you need to multiply. That is how you find the probability of two independent events. And finally, option E is when we find the union of A and B, or the probability of A or B happening. This is the formula that we will use. And again, we're gonna look at these formulas um, in unit 10, specifically lessons 81, 82, and 85.